a low floss tube. It's been a while, hasn't it? But I have an excellent, excellent excuse for why it's been so long. I have a new title. I'm now Mamaw, and it's great. Our little man, he's uh, just turned three months old, and I was, after my daughter went back to work, I would have him for about maybe 12 hours a day watching him. And starting the 1st of July, I now have him all day. And there's Miss Zoe making an appearance. And she's adding specialty floss. But yes, I have him all day. And you know, I'm 51 and I'm old and it hurts. <laughs> So, it's been a little bit of an adjustment, um, getting back into that your own full-time mommy mode. Uh, my mommy hearing is still very good. I still wake up whenever he twitches at night. Um, and he is an early riser. He gets me up between 5.30 and 15 till 6, which that's normally when I get up, but I've had to adjust things because normally when I get up that early it's because I'm fixing breakfast and getting everything going and the day going so I've had to rearrange my schedule a little and he's cut into my sewing time my stitching time quite a bit but um, I get uh, hugs and, and laughs and smiles so it's fine but uh, this was a project that I started for him when I thought he would be moving around the time he was six months old and leaving me, which I was just really stressing about. Um, for his room. And this is by Clouds Factory. It's the Superheroes Alphabet. And I'm doing it on linen. And it's just a ivory linen. Uh, it's a 28 count, I believe. Um, I'm getting really close to having it finished. I just have the rest of this row here and then the top row, which has the same number of characters in it as this. Um, I haven't changed anything in the pattern except for on back stitching. Um, I've used two strands for the back stitching because I wanted the wording to be a little bit more bold. And I have back stitched around the capital letters, which is not part of the pattern for you to do, but I wanted them to really stand out. Now, I've done this pattern before on something that's just a little darker than this for another new edition. Um, so this is the second go around on, on stitching it, and I'm not uh, bored on it at all. It's it's quick, and it's, it's fun, and once you get your spacing started off right, uh, just counting out from it, it's, it's super simple. So I'm really enjoying that, and I should have that done this month sometime. The uh, I've got four whips right now, which is this one, and I've got Paula Vaughn's In the Garret, which I have not touched. No, I've got five whips. And I've got Save the Stitches, which I have not touched. And I have a Heaven and Earth design called Cupcake, and I didn't touch it this last month either because I was working on this and I've got, we've got another new edition that will be here in November, so I'm trying to clear a few things up so I can start this month on a, another baby sampler. And I worked on this, which this is Rose of Sharon by Paula Vaughn. And I got a lot of work done on this one. Um, if I can find it, I will put up a picture of where it was uh, last month and then you can see that I I have done a huge amount down in here down in here in the cabinet part of it I'm trying to save the exciting parts, which over in this area there is a chair with a quilt, and I want to save that to the last. 
Um, this has been my nemesis piece. I have started this, and I spoke about this in my first video. I have started this thing, this may be my fourth time starting. Anyway, the start before this, when I got so frustrated, I actually threw fabric and stitching away. And I have never, ever done that. But, oh my goodness, I got off. I got off and I picked and I got off and I picked and oh no I never wanted to see it so I didn't um, bring it back out for several several years but this time things are going right everything's coming out like it should and I'm really finding the love in it again so those are two of the three things that I stitched on now I do have um, two finishes but it's one pattern and it's this this year I want to stitch some Christmas ornaments let me bring you in a little closer okay these are um, I did them identically uh, with the called for threads and it's just two colors it's DMC in this uh, the original was stitched on a linen that was a little darker than this but this was scrap and I'm doing stitch from stash again and I almost made it a full year without purchasing anything other than two skeins of floss and I'll show you what I purchased that I really couldn't wait on because I was really trying to see if I could get to, you know, that year mark. But um, um, this is a freebie pattern, and I will put the details below on what it is. I think this is from the Little Stitcher. Hold on a second. Let me look. Um, it comes off of a blog, and like I said, I will put the details below in a minute. Let's see. This one was not coming up for me. <coughs> it is called Merry Christmas Dear and it is from I get my Kindle to work the little stitcher and that's um, the little stitcher dot blogspot dot com I don't know if that's probably not going to focus very well but you can see it, it, the sample the model was stitched on something a little darker and this is done in like a pillow ornament which I may do I think you can see that there but really a quick stitch and two or three evenings watching a three month old you can have one done if you weren't watching a three month old one day and you'd have it finished now I like to keep my backs neat but this one, so much of this is spread out, and I was going to do pin stitches, and I went, nah, not going to do that. I carried. And I never carry like this, but I carried all over the place on this. Which is fine, because I plan on putting a um, interfacing on the back, and either finishing it as a flat fold, or as a pillow or a pillow ornament. One is for me, one is going to go into my um, ornament stack to give to others for Christmas. And that was all that I stitched on. Now, <coughs> I have a small, small amount of pile, but before I do that, I entered a contest um, on one of our fellow floss tubers <coughs> um, videos, and this was um, Sarah of Sea Swept Life 
and um, she did a video and had a giveaway <coughs> and she let her cat Bubba pick the names on from little pieces of paper and that was hilarious so Bubba picked me as a runner-up and I <coughs> I really enjoyed watching it but um, go check her out uh, it's C Swept Life and I'll link her down below too and she also has an Etsy store <coughs> it's called uh, Sand Bar Mermaids or Mermaid Shop dot Etsy dot com let's see if I can uh, get that where you can see it I don't know if it's going to focus where you can see it I doubt it I bet you're just looking at blur anyway I will uh, link that down below too and she does all kinds of little different crafty things um, but she had the contest and she had several little different options of you could pick what you would like and I sent her a message and told her you know I like needle minders um, honestly I'm too frugal to purchase needle minders so when you like on this one look at my needle minder it's a magnet that's it on the back is a refrigerator magnet which I really like those but I am cheap 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 uh, but I told her you know I like uh, needle minders and she sent me two needle minders and they are just they're stinking adorable and here they are and I'm getting ready to put them on my projects but oh, maybe you can see better there one of them says, I heart cross stitch. I love cross stitch, and the other is pumpkins. I love the fall, and this is just great and well, uh, yeah, duh. Now, look at the backs of these. Nice and smooth, and she has made this. Nice and smooth, and they're not, they're not super heavy, and I don't remember who was saying it but someone was saying and can you hear it clicking it's really it's it's good it's strong um i don't remember who was saying it the other day but someone on their video said you know they didn't like heavy needle minders and this is not that heavy at all see the magnet is not humongous But it's not, these are not very heavy and they are flat and I can imagine that these would be great, especially if you're parking threads to wrap them over. So I was just so delighted I got that yesterday in the mail. Now watch me lose it. But thank you, Sarah, and um, I'll send her a private thank you as well. But thank you, I love them. They are great, and I cannot wait to stick them on something. Now, haul, and it's it's really, it's a small haul. I guess that's kind of like Jethro Bodine, what's small? I guess it's a small haul. Well, this is a small haul. So, okay, now, this is the reason I didn't make it for my full year without buy anything other than two skeins of floss that I ran out of on a project. <coughs> and I did that last year, way before Christmas, so it was a while. Um, the end of last month, I bought this pattern. And I know someone is actually working on this right now, but I don't recall who. But it's the Dragon Welcome birth announcement. And I got this for my little man. Um, and we got, my daughter and I got so tickled. Uh, this little dragon here is knitting with glasses on. And my daughter knits every baby a, an afghan. And she loves it. And she just sits and knits and knits and knits. And she wears glasses. And she said, look, it's got me on it. So, of course, we had to have it. Um, but every time I went to get it, it was sold out. And I'd put, notify me when it comes back. And I'd go, and it was sold out again. So, 
one day I was just strolling through and I thought, well, I'll check and see if there's anything that says, you know, back in stock soon or whatever. And it was like, oh, it's in. I bought it. I put it in the cart and bought it right then, that second. And uh, it must have went back out of stock after I, I did that because, um, like, the next week I got an email that says, it's back in stock. And I went, it's gone. <clears throat> but um, I've looked at the pattern. It looks very clear, very easy to do. And even has, like, if you're doing for twins, which sometimes it's kind of hard to find a birth sampler for twins, you can do this extra little um, dragon and egg and put him up here uh, where the bottle sits. So that was so cute. So definitely this is a new start this month. Um, definitely going to start that this month. Then when I, I purchased this and I was like, well, I've done blown it. <laughs> So, I'm getting ready to start my Chatelaine probably within a couple of months. And I have, I'm going to do DMCs. I'm not doing any of the different flosses. But uh, I went on European Cross Stitch and got the beads for it. Um, and this is the Chatelaine. I know Tracy P is working on this. And... Uh, might be Dina is also working on this. And it seems like there's someone else that's working on this. Well, I know who it is. Um, it's one of the newer floss tubers, the lady that lives in Mexico that has those gorgeous works on her wall. Um, Yanni, I think's her name. Um, she has this started too. But I have always loved this. I purchased this early last year, I think it was. And when I purchased it, I got a super, super deal on the fabric. And so I already have the fabric, which is a pretty large piece. And um, I know I was going to want to start that this year. So I just went ahead and got the bead pack. Then, um, the other thing I purchased uh, this month, in Ju or not this month, in July, was Dinky Dyes was having some of their Oops packs on their Etsy store and many floss tubers have talked about this, you know, every so often they'll have it. And I have never used silk or hand dyed uh, floss and partly because I'm cheap, let's just say it, I'm cheap, I'm frugal. And so, but I saw this and you get 20, um, they're not full skeins. Uh, they don't have all the same uh, amounts in them, and they don't have the same amount that comes in a normal skein. But this is a great way to, you know, give it a try for a reasonable price. You got um, 20 of these for 20 bucks, and I just happened to. Um, to be on Etsy working and I have them as one of my favorite stores and I check them ever so often. They they were having these up. They were almost gone and this has a lot of the colors that I gravitate to. I love like this. These. And I plan on working some smiles along out of some of my magazines and I thought well this would be great to give it a try and oh my gosh you want to just roll in it when you get it and just rub it, it uh, they feel so great I can't wait to try them and when I purchased that they also sent me a little extra and a really pretty little button which I plan on turning into a needle minder but I'm not sure where I set that down at so that was another thing that I, I purchased and the last thing that I got, which I knew, even doing Stitch from Stash, that this would be a purchase because, like I said, we have a new edition that will be arriving in November. And so I waited until, well, actually, I didn't wait until we found out the sex a couple of days before they had the reveal. I just, I felt it. It's like, it's a girl. It's going to be a girl. I know it's going to be a girl. And 
I had done uh, a real cute little one for her son when he was born and I thought oh this girl I'm gonna do something really precious so I purchased and this is very old this is from the 90s this is lavender and lace enchanted alphabet and one of our floss tubers has this um, as one of her whips and she had finished the um, letters and hadn't started on the other things and she showed it the other day but I'd already purchased this so it, that wasn't my inspiration but it is so darling and this is for my niece and I did a wedding sampler and I've showed it on past videos that was black just it was all black and it was just swirls and it's the couple and the dress comes out and flows up and around and if I can think I'll stick a photo in but the letters on this have that same curly Q type of look so I thought oh yeah but I had wanted to do this sorry I had wanted to do this one for a while anyway so I plan on stitching it twice once for her and there's enough open places in different areas that I can definitely put in the the baby names and stuff and I'm probably going to pull the same alphabet I used for her wedding sampler which I had pulled off of a Stony Creek uh, leaflet and uh, put the details in with that alphabet but um, I'm going to do this twice once for her and once for myself and I have considered and this may sound like a crazy idea and I don't know what you would call it because you know we say baby sampler and birth announcement and that sort of thing but I have considered putting in I guess you would call it a memorial piece uh, putting in my mother's name and the day that she passed away and I know that sounds a little morbid but not because she, um, if you couldn't say anything else about her, and you knew she was a woman of faith, and so I guess it, it's kind of a birth announcement for her, too, because, you know, when she passed, she was born again in heaven, so <clears throat> I kind of have thought about doing that, um, doing it twice, and and doing it as a memorial piece whether or not I do that or not I don't know I will do it again but I don't know exactly what I will do with it um, the first one I've considered doing on like a purple fabric I'll have to find one that I like um, because the mother her favorite color of all time is purple and this would really pop on purple so I'm thinking about that for that. Um, let's see, anything else? Any plans? All I have planned is I'm, I'm going to finish this. I'm going to work on the other birth announcement and get it done. I will work on at least one more Christmas ornament this month and I will work a little on this polyvon, and I want to pull out the other polyvon and work on its sun. And I absolutely want to work on my heaven and earth design because it is calling me big time, but I have other obligations. So, I don't know. I'll, I'll find some time. I'll squeeze it in. I'll put the little man on my lap, and he's getting where he can kind of sit and let him sit and walk sit and watch because he loves to watch the thread go in and out of the fabric so see I'm already starting him off right uh, he's still asleep um, so that was good I kind of he's here on the bed sleeping and I thought I might not get through this but uh, I've got the itch to start other new things 
but I'm going to try and uh, get myself to finish this and, and work on the other birth announcements, both of those, before I jump in. I want to start the Chatelaine so bad, but I'm going to practice self-control. That is about it on what I had to show you. Um, I would like to do the uh, 20 odd things about me and I'll do that now as long as my little fella continues to sleep here. And I'm not sure if I got 20 or not. I think I do and uh, I'll run through these really, really fast. So if this is not something that appeals to you. Thank you for visiting and thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I know time is precious to all of us and I appreciate you spending some time with me. So Lord willing and the creek don't rise, I'll see you again in about a month with some updates of some pretty things. All right now,